people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and the 10th anniversary Five Nights at Freddy's collab has just been revealed. I'm not gonna beat around the bush because it is a collab that we have all been asking for for years now. Five Nights at Freddy's and Dead by Daylight will be crossing over in summer 2025. For literal years, people have been asking for Five Nights at Freddy's and or a spring trap in Dead by Daylight, and I really cannot believe it is finally, finally happening. This morning, the official FNAF Scott Games Twitter account tweeted out, keep an eye on someone's account today. Hmm. And if you have been following everything throughout the day, it has been absolute chaos. Every single company and brand taking advantage of such a vague message. On Cloak's website, they had a Five Nights at Freddy's banner, and that banner was titled Today's Date, August 5th for Monday, and it had all the Freddies. There was a big number three, which a lot of people assumed was counting down to three days for the FNAF anniversary in three days on the 8th. But then Cloak themselves tweeted out that it was not actually them, so then we were just left in the dark for hours on who could it be, with everyone going back and forth from Fortnite to Stumble Guys to Among Us to, I mean, literally anything. Even Scott himself was popping into a whole bunch of streamers' uh, chats, teasing, mm, is there some collab being revealed today? That's fascinating. That's fascinating. Scott trolling like always. And then finally, the official Dead by Daylight Twitter account just straight up tweeted out FNAF Dead by Daylight coming summer 2025. Now, listen, I've only played a handful of Dead by Daylight rounds. I'm not the best player, but I do really enjoy the game. And I know this is a like majorly requested collab. So even though I was kind of holding out hope for Fortnite, this is like, this is actually insane. I cannot imagine what it must be like right now to be a Dead by Daylight fan and wanting FNAF in Dead by Daylight for so long and then finally getting this reveal. Wow. So now comes the question, how exactly are they going to incorporate FNAF into Dead by Daylight? If you don't know the basic gameplay and premise of De Dead by Daylight, there's one hunter and then everyone else is a survivor. They have to fix up generators to escape the map. And like I said earlier, everyone has been praying for Springtrap in Dead by Daylight for years. So I think when this does happen, the killer is going to be Springtrap. And then I'd assume like Michael or maybe even Charlie from the books uh, is going to be the, the survivor. I feel like I'm not super educated enough in, you know, the whole Dead by Daylight scene to theorize on what the abilities for each character are going to be, but Dead by Daylight fans, I would love to know, what are your thoughts and theories on this collaboration? What do you want to see incorporated into this collab? And people who are hoping for something other than Dead by Daylight, what do you think? Are you going to check it out when it releases? It's pretty far away. Summer 2025, I had a feeling that the collab announcement, whatever it was, was going to be released like next month, September, maybe later on this month, but we got a ways to wait September 2025, but wow, next year is going to be massive with the Dead by Daylight crossover in the middle of the year, and then the movie at the end. t jocks coming out too, Five Laps at Freddy's is also next year, so it's going to be a crazy time. I think I've been out of focus like this entire video, but I just had to make a very quick video on this. Wow, FNAF and Dead by Daylight, it's finally happening. I'd love to know again, what are your thoughts? Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow is the Steel Wool announcement, so stay on the lookout for that, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Crazy reveal.